Hi there, it's Roy Breton here. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk about if you're struggling to get Windows 10 extended security updates. Recently I created a few videos uh, um, how to enroll for Windows 10 support. Um, another one can't enroll for Windows 10 support and a few more videos. You can check my channel out here if you click on Roy Breton online you'll see the other videos. But first of all you do need to have a Microsoft account and be signed into it. Um, most of us have a Microsoft account, um, even if you think you don't, you probably did sign up a long time ago for it and probably forgotten. I use Windows OneDrive, so I'm kind of kind of signed in if that makes sense, although it's not showing here. So the first the first thing to do is to go to the updates pages which I have here. Um, so um, this is, I, ha I have a Windows 10 laptop, which I can't update to Windows 11, and I have this desktop, which I can, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use the updates. So here we've got view optional updates, and there, there aren't really any that, that I need to do, but you may well see. Let me show you a screenshot of, of, my, of my laptop um, here. So, so here it says that Windows 10 reached the end of support on October the 14th, which has now passed. Um, and here it's got about downloading and install and view optional updates. Now it's very important that you do um, you do view these optional updates, otherwise it probably won't work. And I think this is what a lot of people fail to, uh, fail to remember that they, they you do need to have these um, optional updates and reboot boot your computer otherwise it's not going to work. Incidentally make sure you're on the right edition of Windows. Um, it generally works on Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education editions. If you're on the home edition you may need to upgrade to Pro before enrolling which could be another issue. Also make sure that you have installed the ESU preparation package which um, let me show the screenshot oh dear, let me show you this shot here which we're already at um, so it should be you should see a page like this on my desktop um, which I'm on now I had something down here where I could sign up for these updates so just have a look around the Windows update page once you have signed up for the Windows extended updates then you should start getting um, Get, start receiving sort of um, optional updates in here, uh, which I have. So it seems to it seems to be working okay, which is great. Now, if you still can't get the updates to work, then I would um, make sure you have plenty of um, space on your hard drive. You need at least um, 20 gigabytes. I'd, I'd always recommend having at least that amount just so your computer works properly, and you can temporarily disable an antivirus or firewall and uh, just make sure you create backups and restore points before you do anything major as we should always do and if it still doesn't work the other thing you can do is do a clean reinstall of Windows 10 with the 22H2 and try again or obviously if your, win if your Windows computer supports um, Windows 11 then you can upgrade to that uh, but my laptop is ten and a half years old and uh, that that's that's working fine with the new updates which is um, which is great if you've got any questions on this please feel free to leave a comment I will try and get round to answering them but um, just go, go through the process slowly and hopefully you will have success like I did so thank you for watching this video and if you want to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment please feel free to do that thank you very much